In the last video, we saw what is the difference between integration test and unit test. In this video, we will go a level down and see more specifically in the context of a test what is the arrange act asset pattern. This pattern is very common in both integration and unit test, so it's important that you understand it. This video is part of a full course on smart contract testing on Eat the Blocks Pro. In this course, I'll teach you how to use the test-driven development approach to develop your smart contract with the Truffle framework. If you want to have access to the source code of the free episode, go to the website of Edoblox Pro and create a free account by clicking on Sign Up. This three-step pattern starts with the Arrange step. In this step, you have to create the input data that you will fit to the tested component or function. This is some fake data that is used just for testing. That's also where you will create mock functions that we discussed in the last video. The next step is the act step. In this step, you will call the tested function with the data that you have just created and you will store the result in a variable. Finally, in the assert step, you will compare the actual result that was produced by the function with the expected result. If these values match, the test pass, otherwise the test fail. That's it for the arrange act assert pattern. As you can see, it's quite simple. Whenever you write a test, make sure to always use this pattern. In the next video, we will see how we can know what we need to test.